Okay, feet. <laughs> First of all, let's put the feet under the hips. Look at them, they lie to you. No rotation externally or internally. What, the, what would that look like? Well, you'd look like a, a pigeon or a duck. Show this us. is internally, this is externally. This is in alignment. So the first thing you wanna do is just shift your weight. Keep your knees soft and think about, all my weight is gonna be back on my heels. And then shift your weight, all my weight is on the balls under my toes. Back to the heels. Feel what's happening here. Up to the balls under the toes. And come to center. When you shift your weight to the outside of the foot, feel what's happening up your leg and to your knees. Your knees really get tight. Now, shift your weight to the inside of the foot. Now feel what happens to the knees. The knees also feel stressed. Shift your weight so that all of it is evenly distributed between the balls of the feet and the heels. Press just the big toe down. Relax. When you press just the big toe down, feel how it goes right up into the knee. Relax. So pressing just the big toe down also impacts the way the muscles around the femur work. Relax. Now just press the baby toe down. Same thing, the knee gets torqued. You can feel it. You lift the knee up and then the knee goes out. Relax. Lastly, what I want you to do is you cannot change um, the arch, but you can make it stronger so that it helps support the way your knees are. So let's press down the area under the big toe and the outside of the heel. Press both areas down at the same time. Ball under the big toe, outside of the heels. Now the kneecaps are tight but they're lifted. And the arch is lifted. Relax. This time when you press the ball under the big toe and the outside of the heel, feel how the butt tightens. The bottom of the belly gets tight. The thighs are working overtime. And this is your microwave activity for the week.